Hey guys, this is Neil again with Big League Tips, and we're going to continue the same type of topic on how to finish as a pitcher. And a lot of times I see a lot of these guys, I mean, younger guys, even up to high school, will take a lot of momentum down the mound. They're pushing off, they're trying to get as much speed as possible, and then they do not know when to stand up and control that. And so I really want to try to get these pitchers, if they are a right-handed pitcher, to really land lightly on their right foot, okay? Uh, not only does it help with your balance to control more accuracy, it, it also helps with that recoil and that whip factor to get a little bit more speed involved too. So let me show you an example real quick. <clears throat> I have a lot of guys do everything right with the push off. They come down on their heel, they have a really long stride, and after they pitch, they will keep this front leg, this left leg, if you're a righty, they'll keep it collapsed and they fall down the mound like this, okay? So falling down the mound like that really makes you lose a lot of energy um, and, it, and it actually slows your arm action down because you don't get that whip factor when you come up. Um, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of these drills, I kind of like to make another analogy based on hitting. And so uh, a good analogy to talk about this on landing light with your right foot for that recoil factor would be if you're hitting opposed to swinging and then keeping your left foot straight to really get that recoil with your core. If you swung like this and kind of came toward the camera like that, we won't get as much power on that swing. That's more of uh, when softball players are trying to slap the ball. They're not trying to get power. They're just trying to get down to first base. So. We want to make sure that whenever we come set, we still push off, we're still timed up, but after you finish and you get the chest over the front knee, we would stand straight up to try and land pretty light on our right foot so we get that really good recoil factor and uh, we really have some good balance. Um, a guy that I always kind of watched growing up do this really well was Pedro Martinez. He did it uh, almost too good. It was very, very energetic, kind of fun to watch. but. Uh, he was uh, kind of a smaller pitcher that threw 95 to 96, and right after that ball came out of his hand, he got extension. He stood right back up to try and get as much whip as possible on that ball. Uh, I'd love to hear some feedback on some other guys that do this or any other kind of different finish that would help to get that foot landed a little bit lighter. And go ahead and check out the rest of our website, too. All right, thanks, guys.